All right, so uh, this is a presentation. It's uh, gonna, it's based on the psyche. It's just a very small section in the psyche. And, uh, but I found it very interesting and it really helped me a lot uh, many years ago and uh, still useful to keep in mind at any time. Anxiety, pressure, negativity. Who doesn't have that? Um, I think we pretty much all have uh, um, times where we feel uh, stressed out or, you know, possibly even uh, afraid or any kind of negative uh, feeling that, uh, and so this is, these are some very simple tool, a very simple tool to help you deal with it. And, um, and achieve uh, freedom. So let's see, this is it. And uh, here we go. It's a very simple technique. And it's on page 120, 124, and it's called Might Oriented Thinking. So if you guys, uh, anybody, gals, have the, the psyche, you can look this up uh, in the book and review it. Um, it really stood out. It's amazing how just a small little section in a book can make a world of a difference if applied. And so when you see a problem coming up, something that is just on your mind, that is just a real bother, what do you do? You think of them as being small unreal, unimportant, and easy to let go of or easily surmountable. So think of them in the present. This is small, this is unreal, this is unimportant, and I can easily let go of this. So that's the initial action that's taken. Now that can be taken just in your mind. You don't have to uh, speak, <laughs> speak, out, uh, um, speak it out. You just think it, but you can if you want. So then... And the effect is that they become small. They are small, unreal, unimportant, and easily surmountable. So it's, it's very, it's just like putting a tag to a feeling or a thought. It, this is, that's all it is. You're tagging it every time it comes up. Oh, this is small. This is unimportant, easy to let go of. So, but in the beginning, this appears to be very difficult because this process is unfamiliar, but actually it's very easy. You just get, get the ball rolling. And I, uh, magically almost, it's, it starts to become a habit. It's like uh, a pattern that gets established that it's easy. As soon as this uh, feeling comes up, that's, uh, let's say a negative feeling, a fear, let's say fear, because that's uh, probably the worst of them all. A fear comes up, you say, oh, this is small, this is unimportant, easy to let go of. And, and it becomes very automatic, but you have to, you have to uh, do it right from the beginning. You have to, you, know, you have to catch it and you got to work at it. Each time it comes up and it, multiple times you keep saying, oh, this is small. This is, uh, and then it, it actually takes that pattern. It, it just pops up automatically. But also it's important not to uh, think of it as in a wish uh, sense or I wish it would get small. I wish it would be un uh, unimportant. No, that's the wrong thinking. It, it, you have to put, think of it in the present. This is small, unimportant, and easy to let go of. Are we still here? Yep. Does, okay. Do you have somebody trying to come in? I don't know what that dong, ding dong was. I don't know. Maybe someone coming in, someone leaving. I don't know. I'm going to okay. just keep, keep on going. Because don't you have to let people in? No, they, oh, they, okay. people are coming in. Okay. Um, all right. So then that's the rewiring of the brain just by doing that. So just to recap, these are the, uh, the steps, and that's what they become. And then what do you have? Freedom. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was it.